Well, we've still got considerable cloud cover hanging over central Texas right now. A little moisture off the Gulf of Mexico riding up over on top of this cool wedge of uh, Arctic air sitting down at the surface right now. Temperatures in the 40s in most cases now and for the most part, we dodged the bullet on any rain. It's certainly all the severe weather well back to the east of us right now. Nothing really of any severe consequence popped up out of any of this stuff, but we have been watching a little area of rain that has just about come apart as it got over close to Bosque Coriel counties. Still tracking a little bit of moisture out west, but not by much. It looks like it's just about to come to an end. 43 now in Meridian, and yeah, if you look out to the east, you see a little bit of sleet, maybe even a few snow flurries, but this stuff is melting before it reaches the ground as the temperatures right down to ground level or above the freezing mark, low 40s in most cases. We have dropped to 39 in, in Gatesville, 44 in Lamp Passes at this hour. It's 40 in Mahia, 42 in Marlin, Waco reporting 41, and it's 42 right now in Temple. This is the wind chill. This is what it feels like when you factor in that cold north wind blowing on any bare skin. It feels like 31 already in Gatesville, 30 in Waco, 34 in Temple, and in Marlin right now. So your wind chill urges you to bundle up a little bit, particularly tomorrow morning. 27 is what we're forecasting for a low temperature, looking for at least four hours of temperatures below the freezing mark. Wind chill in the morning when you go out to grab the paper is going to be about 15 degrees. Clearing skies for us tonight and cold. We still have a wind advisory in effect, by the way, until midnight tonight. Tomorrow, clear sky, seasonably cool, a little below normal. We'll make it 51 for an afternoon high, and that's a little below normal for us. Burn bands remain in effect for much of the area with the winds blowing like today. Anything getting getting loose firewise is going to get out of control pretty quickly. So be mindful of that. Forecasting a low tonight in 24 in Abilene, 21 in Lubbock. Amarillo drops down to 17 first thing tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. These are actual air temperatures we're forecasting with highs rebounding back up into the 50s across the Panhandle. Lots of sunshine. 40s across the northern tier of the Lone Star State. Down along the Gulf Coast, maybe 52 for a high in Houston. With high humidity, it's pretty uncomfortable. 63 in Corpus and looking at 68 for a high temperature in Brownsville down in the lower Rio Grande Valley. Here's Channel 6 seven day forecast where your weekend is always in view. Clearing skies tomorrow will rebound from a low of 27 to a high of 51. Down to 25 on Saturday morning with a high of 45 and 23 Sunday morning with a high of 49. Talking about temperatures below freezing for as much as 10 to 14 hours Saturday and Sunday morning. So please be mindful of that. You could have some damaged pipes if you don't take precautions. We are putting in some precipitation for Monday, Tuesday, possibly Wednesday and into Thursday as well. Big question mark on that and how cold will it be when it comes down? We will be fine tuning that, but be mindful that we could maybe see some flurries or maybe a little bit of ice and sleet coming up uh, Monday night or Tuesday. Just throwing that out there for you. Wow. All right. Okay. Keep us updated. All right. Thanks, Andy.